So, on our way over to this side of the town and- Making our way! <laughs> Alfred, you just threw up my groove for the last time. Alfred, Make him your way look downtown, what you did. walking fast. Alf Alfred, That's more like it. <laughs> not only did you throw off my groove, but you scared my pet cat away. You owe her an apology. Yeah, already taking a break. So, uh, in addition, James, to when we mentioned last time, or when Hyven mentioned that one of the uh, that two of the assassins were completely optional encounters, mm -hmm. uh, we're about to go check out that second one here. Already? Well, then uh, yep. let's see who let's see who this uh, poor schmuck's gonna be. So whenever we so when we go here to investigate this SOS disturbance we've received, here it is. Oh, it's fiery. <gasps> oh, oh, it was, it was a, a trap. It was, it was a yeah. It was all a ruse. A setup. Whoa. Oh boy. Oh, it, uh, it was a ruse behind a ruse. Oh boy. Yeah, it was a. It was a whoa, 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 let them die. What happened to it? To look for survivors. You probably should look into that. Yeah. What the hell happened down there? I'm on it. I'm on it. Hello, yeah, down there. Is anyone there. down here okay? Is anyone down here okay? Survivors. Oh, dang. Oh. Someone will pay for this. I mean, there might be survivors, but they, they, they it might be in pieces. Okay, I don't know if well, you guys talked about it, but... Who's the pilot? I, I do like Roger Craig Woo. Smith. I don't think he's the best Batman choice, though. I thought he was... I thought it was a decent enough idea. I, I think he pulled it off. I, I, it was convincing enough for me. Uh, he works as a younger Batman, if nothing else. But I am looking forward to getting back to Kevin Conroy's eventually, oh, yeah. Bailey. Like, he does a good right, job I'm... replicating Kevin Conroy, but... I mean, you know what? Not, not as much as, say, like, uh, Troy Baker with Joker. I will say, I guess I could ask this real quick, Matt, since you weren't there with us when we had that eventual reveal. Do you think Roger Craig Smith, Smith, Roger Craig Smith makes a better Batman, or does Troy Baker make a better Joker? Troy Baker makes a better Joker. He does a pretty good job, I think, as well. I, I think there's I said Nolan North as well as an accident. Reason, I keep mixing them all up. There's a reason why Troy Baker is still used in multiple things as the Joker. Helicopters or Batman, depending on the circumstance. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, or both. It's, it's funny because, to be fair, Roger still gets like a handful of work as Batman here and there too. Also, I love how we're okay, investigating so the scene that we literally just saw. Well, we need to figure out. So first off, dude, there went the tail rotor. Wee. So we're gonna investigate the tail rotor so we can figure out what sent that helicopter a spinning. So as it goes right back, we can find out that what made it go haywire was. A bullet. Oh, it's dead Not shot. Just any kind. Yep. A shot hit. A shot hit that tail rotor. Which, yeah, this is why. This is why you need a tail rotor on any helicopter. Otherwise, you've just created a spinning top in the air. <laughs> a spinning Ugh. top of doom, madness. Uh, honestly, Logan, so I just do now I just imagine a helicopter what? being made by uh, I did a thing. There it is. <laughs> he just be a Da Vinci. And, okay, so aren't aerodynamics over something over special? There. Oh, dude, oh, the, oh, the sniper. just the absolute best. <laughs> well, hang on, the sniper is just out right here. Really? Or his equipment is. All right. Well. Uh, or the sniper himself. Yeah, but yeah, why would a SWAT, SWAT member SWAT. shoot at his own helicopter oh, unless he's a horrible shot? I I already well, said it, and well, and Steve. I know because because we we have already figured out this the bullet didn't even come from him. The what? shrapnel hit oh. it through him, and it was actually a ricochet round. From freaking five miles over. <laughs> ladies and gentlemen, the dead shot. What do you expect? Oh, I was about to say, ladies and gentlemen, that's just something I like to call stupidly dumb luck. That Welcome is not dumb shot. luck. Stupidly that is dead dumb shot. luck, man. Like I said, stupidly dumb luck. He's incredible. Like my favorite 98% muscular man. Anywho, <laughs> let's get up there. And. This must be where the shot originated. Yeah, so you, you could go on further, but you were just you were just triangling points and uh, well, we're there not is. solving that crime right now. Oh, look. In a minute. And yes, a, and a, yes, apparently Deadshot has enough freaking time on his hands to personally a, personally monogram it's every single Deadshot. one of his bullets. It's yeah, Deadshot. Like, not to mention that is technically just a reused prop from City. Yeah, that's oh. fair. <laughs> wow, they actually just... Okay, I didn't know they actually looked at the asset for it, but fair enough. Let's no, go like, I, I will say, one, the, one, three, two, the one thing about Deadshot oh. is just the fact that... just kind of did it for me. Who plays I will, Deadshot? No, I Deadshot. Just the... um, it's the same actor from uh, City, uh, Chris Cox. Okay. But now I will still say, I do... Uh, assume, unless they also lifted that from City, I love, I love the concept of his boss battle in this um, game. I will say... 
it is a lot more complex in this game, if for no other reason than he's not just standing in one spot all the time. Yeah. But, but I will say, I but but I, but I also love the set piece. Like just, like when we get in there, I just want you to like stop for a second, and like watch as. But 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 before we do that, go ahead and say anything for quickly, Matt. I just love Deadshot, and I I'm not going to lie. Like I find it funny that the Arkham games gave him more personality than the comics or any other thing ever did, and then Will Smith came along. And now he's I think Will Smith did a really good job. I think he did a good job as Deadshot. Though. But yeah, I love this. Check this. So he he keeps all of his goons in check. Like I, I'll stop for a minute and hopefully show it off. But I love this. So basically, how this is set up is it's a stealth encounter with him, and he can keep an eye on all of these. Uh, and he can keep an eye on all of these gargoyles. So you have to be careful. But what I love is is that the way he interrogates people and checks for them is uh, give it a second. Should be getting Still find antsy. It fucking hilarious. He freaking oh. zoom. He, he ricochets the round to look at that dude below him. Oh. Yep. And he can like follow his. La I love that detail of watching his laser track. Oh, it's great. Fly around the but, room to see where he's looking. But no. Uh, oh. oh I think, yes, excuse me. <laughs> yeah, but no. When, again, I'm just going to comment again. Why the fuck does Gotham have possum gargoyles? Like, okay, well, regular is... gargoyles is fine. Bat gargoyles makes sense. Maybe even a lion gargoyle. But who the f what kind of fucking city has a possum gargoyle? Some people are just scared well, of possums. Cowardly. A cowardly and a cowardly and self, uh, they... deprecating city. Are they meant to be? Maybe they're meant to be like wolves, but they just did a bad job drawing them. I think maybe. <laughs> I can see that. No, no. I think okay. Right. I think that might. And there I go. think that might actually be what it is. Like the um, the wolves and all. Like, I think what I think that's what here. it's is supposed Let to be. Out. Like wolves or foxes or something. But the fact that they put the they made the ears black make them look like possums now. They do. Away. Oof. Anyway, so this is basically how you fight him. Is it, 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 I guess it's similar to how Two Face worked in that one part of City. Assuming I'm thinking yeah, of the right the, fight. Yeah, yeah, this is, is this is reminding me exactly of the uh, of the, the last fight you had with um, Two Face. Also, oh. you can actually cheese this guy. Basically, oh. don't finish your basically don't finish your combo. Just continue to stun him. Like I I, I could how to put it. I could cheese him by just alternating doing my stun move with the B with the B button. Yeah, and you could continue could. the combo. But the issue they have to watch out for is that. Once he his reaches halfway, respond. yeah. Once he reaches half health, all his moves respawn. And once he reaches like his last fifth of health, now he's taking a hostage. And at this point, if he sees you at any point in time, you lose. Yeah. Good. Yeah, because he yeah, will. He's taking that dude. I see. So we need to now be very cautious because that counts for if any of these people spot us, he will just immediately. And that's why you got to be careful also, at this point in time with the stealth. Also, section. again, I. <laughs> Still find it funny that simply because of Will Smith, now the every single dead shot is just Will Smith. Let's be fair. Yeah. And honestly what I find funny is that especially in the case of the Suicide Squad game, they confirm that it takes place in the Arkham universe. And they How are they gonna explain the race change? Floyd. They pro just retcon. Break it. We just retcon. break both his arms in one yeah. leg and send uh, it to the ground. Also my guess is retcon. Okay. Perhaps. So, yeah, there you go. We just freaking break both his arms, his leg, and down on the ground he sits. And we didn't, and, and and we didn't even need to have Superman come in to be the good cop. Also, I just fucking, I fucking love and hate the idea of. So we're going to meet Batman's entire fucking rogue gallery in one night. Well, most of them. Well, ha well, most of the bigger ones, just because of how it's all set up. I don't know. I think it worked enough. So now we're gonna move on with the plot, and in order to move on with the plot, we need to get high up on a tower. Actually, no, wait, no, first I was gonna, that's right, there was still one, the there's one more sign. Before I get on top of the tower, there's another Cyanus chemical barrel here. You heard the latest? Cyanus is back. Here, oh. No, but he's certainly fractured. Actually, why the Ooh. fuck did Joker leave Cyanus alive? Uh, uh, my guess was he would owe him, I don't know, there was well, something I do where, like, know. he need. I he needed a biometric scan, I thought. Yeah, I was about to say, at first he kept him alive because he needed, like, his, you know, biosignature, you know, like, eyeball handprints and whatnot to get access into the bank. That's right, fair. Right, because he owns the bank. But. Smack. But, wait, anyway. that That is fair, but afterwards he could have just literally killed it. Honestly, it's Batman logic. I don't care. Well, I'm flying. <laughs> anyway. I love how fat, I love how far you can go when you get that combo going. Anyway, let's pull up another barrel. Um, 
But yeah, no, no. See, that was Deadshot, and again, I thought it was a neat idea. I, I like... I, I personally like it when boss battles feel not that scripted, so you get a lot of, like, a flexibility in how you want yeah. to approach the fight. Like, okay, one that is both scripted and unscripted is the, uh, my, one of my favorite boss fights in the whole franchise, or my favorite, and everybody's favorite, uh, Mr. Freeze. So, mm -hmm. Yeah, from City. Yeah, because, yes, which it, it do, is... Which it does return in a sense, but not quite as, uh... Yeah. Just not quite as powerful in this game, but, it, but it's Which, there. Yeah, I like the idea that technically the ways you're supposed to take him down are scripted, but you have to figure out what ways, and after doing that once, it is gone forever. Mm -hmm. Right, so you have to keep mixing it up. Uh, that, and I will admit, between City and this game, I, I like Maurice Lamarche's freeze. Oh, yeah, oh, no, yeah he he's... is incredible. <laughs> I'd say it's probably one of... <laughs> I was gonna say it's probably one of Lamarche's strongest voiceover roles, in my opinion. Oh yeah, I just love. I also love like the voice changer in the game. Just like, and wait, then you shall die. There's the Oh yeah, and there's and that's there too. So in any case, it looks like it's at the Gotham Royal Hotel. So meet. Mm -hmm. uh, it's unfortunately gonna have. This part's gonna have to unfortunately be a cliffhanger, which is also why, for those looking ahead in the playlist, the next part's gonna be a bit of a beefer, uh, because this is basically the big halfway point, like set piece of this Wait, game. What? We're still continuing yes. the vid, by the way. There's. We, I, of half course, vid. I'm saying this. I'm saying just. I'm. Go, I'm throwing this out there right now. I'm going to start this, but God, this next chapter is a beefer. Like, okay, my bad. I guess hotel. I I mis I misunderstood. Like I thought you were saying like right here is when the video is about to end. I was like, dude, there's more time left than that. Yeah, just thought we just, let you know, ladies and gentlemen, this video is going to end on a cliffhanger. Just just for that, I'm just for that, I'm going to tease the audience and have it suddenly fade to black for a moment while you're like, <laughs> Do wait, it. the video's not over yet. Boop. It's like, oh. In fact, put put I mean, the little watch... thing, put the little things at the end. No, I can't. I I can't do it. Trust me. I, I, especially because the issue with that that I've learned is you're o you're almost always asking for it to be dated because YouTube constantly changes the format of what they're of how the. That's it's like fair. It, like I remember a time when you could create your own annotations. Now you're locked into a weird. Uh, position of the videos and they're always automatically set to show up which in some older videos outright covers up details i wanted to see in the video i would like to hey, note that one of these swap members are using a car door as opposed to an actual shield oh son of a gun look at that yeah <laughs> i mean hey i mean hey if it, if it works the same way why not I love how what, I, hey bill how come you get the shield and i get a car door shut up tony because you're a player shut up, too shut up tony bunch of constraints yeah, I was about I was to like, say it's like two. It's like Mine's we like had to plugged make. In. It's like we had to make we had to make Ow. sacrifices for the budget. It was either this or canceling the company picnic. You know, Gotham must be real. Must be a, must be a real fucking hellhole if even the police have to have to keep themselves to a budget. Also, I'm sorry. Uh, oh. Welcome to corruption. Yeah, no. Uh, there. No, I let. <laughs> I just love the whole. Uh, aren't aren't is police I, budgets an actual thing wait, though? Is either yeah. is either they're canceling the company picket? Oh man, damn! I do like I do like Alfredo's deviled eggs. All right, fine. I was about to say, oh man, oh man, I do love that potato salad. <laughs> All right, fine. I'll take the door. <laughs> I'll do it for the potato salad. <laughs> and just for the record, I am totally gonna kick your butt in the three-legged race this year. So <laughs> because. Of so because of the, um, only because, again, I'm, I'm drawing connection to the Nolan films, which was, like, one of my biggest, like, gateways into Batman. Which is fair. Yeah. Series. If Metropolis is more or less inspired by New York, was Gotham confirmed to be inspired by Chicago? Uh, here's That's the what thing. I hear. Here's the thing. Technically, Gotham is a mix of Chicago and New York with more Chicago than New York. Whereas Metropolis is basically just straight up, uh, just Denver? straight up, no, uh, Metropolis, Denver. uh, is basically just I straight up, uh, I mean, it could be Denver, but no, uh, but just big city. I, I was going to say, uh, New oh, York. Oh, a lot, lot of people, a lot of people I, in I this room. I was going well, to say New York, actually, so yeah. Yeah, well, I was about to say, the reason I say Denver is because I figured it would line up since Metropolis is supposed to be in Kansas. That is fair, but it, that Denver is, actually, is in that's Colorado. Fair. What's the capital of Kansas? Is it just isn't it just Lincoln or is it no no it's Can is this just Kansas City? Either way, basically think New York but in Kansas. Yes, Kansas City. I mean to be fair, for <laughs> some okay, is for some reason even though Kansas, I'm fairly isn't Kansas a uh, inland state? Yes. Then why it's the, the fuck the is there? Then why the fuck is it is Metropolis by the sea? 
I don't know why is why is Gotham literally across the bay. That was from okay. Metropolis at one point. That was just a dumb piece of shit. And that... I still love and I still love the set piece, James, in Dawn of Justice, where it really it really looks like a freaking cartoon. But I mean, I guess it can because it's a comic book. But it really looks like a freaking fairy tale comic book like cartoon <laughs> of like here's Metropolis, Sunny, and the implication is here's Sunny, bright eyed Metropolis, and across the bay it's freaking Eeyore, always night. <laughs> time Gotham, <laughs> cloudy skies, like, and they never sh like clouds no, here, constantly. It just problem. makes me. Sorry, you you finish, Steve. Just real quick, you talk about that like oh there's bright and sunny Metropolis and there's dark and dreary Gotham. It's like why was money lying the whole county? <laughs> That's no, basically here, what it feels like. Here's the thing. Fun also, also real quick counter. Also, I'm just gonna say combat encounters like this are where you basically need to like be constantly ready to press yeah. some button and just get ready oh, yeah. for it. No, but um, here's the thing. Like one thing, apparently that was a thing in the Silver Age of comics, which, by the way, was stupid. Silver Age is yes. like the dumbest age of comics, but it's a fun dumb age. I mean, that, that, that's kind of a no shit right there. That. But um, it's it was a fun time. Yeah, though. but it, again, uh, Zebra Batman. But no, uh, <laughs> the whole thing with, like, the Silver Age of comics and all that was, like, for some reason they did decide, yeah, we'll put uh, Metropolis and Gotham across from each other on this on this bay, which was incredibly stupid, because they're, if, if that's the case, then Gotham doesn't need Batman, because Superman can just see over to Gotham and goes, oh, there's some crime over there, let me go help. Right, and then, yeah. It makes no sense. But no, um... Also, but, finally, jeez. Yeah, yeah. Also, I love how that. Also, real quick in the upper left, I love how that counted as one enemy, and then give it a moment, and then I think it counts oh. all the other ones separately or something. It usually That's does, yeah. Yeah, but no. Um, uh, hang on, there it is. Six, two, two, one. Huh. But no. Um, but no. Like the 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 thing is, for some reason, Zack Snyder decided to make oh. them across the street because, let's be fair, he had nothing better to do and he had to get Superman over to Metrop to uh, Gotham as fast as he can. Because I'm not Even going to lie. Even though he just fly there fast. I'm not going to like, okay, right. not going to lie, uh, Zack, Zack Snyder's Justice League, decent movie. I thought it was good. Dawn of Justice, one of the dumbest movies I've ever seen. Um, I want to okay. ask, like, sorry, just very quick. Mm. I, I'm kind of curious, Matt. Have you seen the Snyder Cut? Yes, that's why I was talking about Zack Snyder's Justice. League. Oh, that, yeah, that okay, he said Zack Snyder's sure. Justice. League. Yeah, and um, uh, yeah, I mean, again, I, I hear it did a. It's actually job. it oh, is sure. much better than the uh, Joss Whedon cut, but no. Um, I'll be right back. Alrighty, but no, right. like, I I don't get why they put those two across the street. J just to let you know, after the the Silver Age, basically, like in the Bronze Age, they decided to go. You know what? Let's do Crisis on Infinite Earths and fix a lot of shit. And one of the things they fixed was Gotham and Metropolis were no longer across the fucking street from each other. In fact, even Linkara has joked that he is in a state that has two cities that are known as the Twin Cities, and even they're not as close as people think. Also, maybe you're also, real quick for your hotel decor, maybe you shouldn't have a lion brutally fighting a snake. That Seems a little bit aggressive. Yeah? But it's symbolic of how we're going also, to murder nobody you heard with that. these prices. No, no, they did. They're running towards him. Oh, okay. See, there he goes. Now I'll just send him back down. And yeah, so welcome to yeah again. Welcome to the Gotham Royal Hotel, a super big uh, like plot point area for Arkham Origins. And just a, and just another friendly reminder that yes, this is indeed Christmas time. Fantastic Christmas time. Oh, uh, ring ding ding a ling ding 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 a ling too. Batman is going to beat the living shit out of you. Should I? Should I? You? Here he comes! Here he comes! Here he comes! Oh no! It's stuck. Also, I love the floating paper there. Oh, look at that! Don't don't look at that! Don't look at that! Stop! Why am I looking at it? I didn't even notice that that was on the floor. Now you will never unsee it. Okay, get rid of this jammer. Something tells me there was supposed to be extra flooring there. Ow! Uh -huh. Potentially, or projectile. Also, on. You didn't see me. also, I completely improvised Ow. the uh, the jing jing jingling song. I hope. No, that's fine. Enjoying. I did that too. Yeah. I like I like improvising songs. Okay. But so. I, I was amazed. I was like, what am I going to say? Oh, I got it. <laughs> and, so, and while and, and during all this, Batman's literally just singing to himself. You better watch out. You better watch, watch out. out. You better watch, watch out. out. You better watch out. You better watch out. You better watch out. Sorry. 
Also, I will say, if not for the Sonic Boom Batarang for some of these things, one of my least favorite things to be dealing with is armored dudes in a stealth section because yeah. they cannot be... That you, you, some of them can't even be invert like normal takedown. You just have to beat them down and hope the other people don't get to you in time. Which, yeah, that I will I will admit that is a... Oh, oh crap. Shit. Was that, They're starting... Did, oh, also, uh, real quick to do what Hype was doing. They're starting to blow up the... Uh, the gargoyles, like the two that were over by the front desk, they just blew those up. Ooh. Crap. So we have to be careful, and, and they and they will start becoming. I think, uh, okay. And yes, in, in in this and yes in this set piece, they will start to reintroduce the booby trapped gargoyles yeah. that will detonate when I go also, up there. Also, I will Great. say, like I feel like the reason why they put these armor Guns. guards and so many gargoyles is so you can do the insta gargoyle takedown and stuff like that. I think so. But but while at the same time discouraging it for future use because uh, we're going because again they're going to start deactivating. Also, I like to note that we just took out the Punisher for some reason, and now here's, here's the Punisher's kind of, cousin. It, it, the Punisher. <laughs> the Bundersnatch. The Bundersnatch. Uh, what the hell was that from? I don't know. The Bandersnatch. <laughs> That that sounds like a that sounds like a Lewis Carroll word. You just yeah, I was about there. to say it's it's the Banda Snatch. It, it's based Snickety off Sickety Snack, I, and I, the, when Sickety Snack went the Bunder Snatch. Shut the fuck up, you asshole! I spy. There we go. With my oh, little also, eye. Uh, I, uh, so I will say uh, we're about to have a little cutscene here because it's we're going to use the security footage to figure out where is the Joker in the penthouse. Also, one of the best uh, cutscenes in the game, in my opinion. Yeah, it is. Friends, assassin. Welcome also, not going to lie, the second I heard uh, Troy Baker's Black Mask, I just went, you oh, so you're the Joker. Batman deaths. Yeah. Well, if you look closely, you can still see his green hair poking out from yeah. the back. Yeah, I see it. Yeah. And also, I just noticed, like... there, there is Shiva and Deadshot on the TVs. Yep. Maybe you shouldn't be playing that. And nope. by we, I mean you. <laughs> I saw you get your ass handed to you earlier by Patsy. You don't get to play video games. Oh boy. Well, he has a really thick suit on, so I don't think the bullets should really hurt him that much. Well, I mean, his, face, his head's still exposed. That's fair. But he wasn't even aiming for the head. Shut the hell up and kill the Batman! Uh, well, I didn't think so. We also, do give you bullets, chase the Yeah, bullets can't kill Goodbye. him, but a fall. I love this bit. Goodbye, Mr. Fusioner. Ow. I mean, he did get punked earlier. Are you really that surprised? Not going to lie. I, it just was, it, it just, it just delayed the I feel a little so. sad for him. Yeah. Not going to lie. Well, I mean, yeah. I, I, it would have been fun to see him get some sort of redemption after being taken out with a single punch, but no. He's, he's Hold on, just wait, a wait, wait. C-lister. Oh. That's where you know that the Joker is insane, because he thinks fruitcake tastes good. Anyone want it? I've never I've had fruitcake. I was about to ask, has any of us here ever eaten fruitcake before? I feel like this is something I may have asked before, but I'm going to ask again, because it's been a long, long time at uh, Firefly? Yeah, that's yep. Firefly. Also, Off he goes. Firefly, voiced by my favorite voice actor, Crispin Freeman. Move it along, big boy. And then. No, he's coming for you. When he gets here, I'm yeah, that's the other thing. Not only was he not as big, he actually was pretty clever. Yeah, and that's the oh, thing. Th this is one thing I'll give this game. They make Bane so actually like fucking away. Bane from the comics. Whoop. Whereas, you know, everything else... Of I hate whenever they make Bane an idiot. That is my big like thing. Yeah. They make Bane... No, Juggernaut isn't even an idiot. So, whenever they make Bane like just an idiot strong man that is not bane bane is not just supposed to be the muscles he is the brain and the muscles that lift should get me up right so then so then yeah, before we get back onto track here as like before we get the you know cliffhanger once i get these shocker gloves uh james you were mentioning with a uh, joker and stuff earlier with the other villains have we all ever had fruitcake before nope i tried it once it was a little chewy yeah it had nuts in it as well yeah no it wasn't that great to me I honestly would love it if it was just fruit flavored cake, like lemon yeah. or strawberry. I've had lemon cake, that, but it's not. It's... Lemon cake's really good. Oh, I love that. that. Oh, Blueberry. I saw... James. What James? Nah, I was, I was just making another dumb oh. SpongeBob. Actually, actually, oh, actually oh, I, I, I do want to make kind of a dumb joke. Who here has seen the series of unfortunate events uh, right. TV show? 
I have. Good. I need to get back to watching it, though, because really, I never finished it. Really good. One of my favorite bits is they're, like, planning wedding cakes and all that. And one of the things they do goes like, so there are three kind of cakes. Uh, this one is a little, uh, it, like, he's talking to Count Olaf. It goes, this one's a mm. little... Uh, pumpkinish. This one's a little fruity, and the last one is a little lemony. I told you never to say that name in front of me ever again. Aha, uh-huh, and that's a reference to the author. Who actually is oh, a character just... in the world. Well, yes, Played yeah, because he, he was always people. the... Because, yeah, he was always the, like, anonymous person. Who does a great like, job in that show, by around. the way. Everybody does a great job in that show. Watch his show. So... Uh, I will say uh, with that, join us in the next part, which is going to be a beefer, which is us basically tackling the entire Gotham Royal Hotel. Because yeah, there's a this entire level is it, it, there's a it's a long climb up. Yep. So uh, see you guys in the next part. Please. Till next time, you fruit cakes. Please book a reservation at the Gotham Hotel. We promise it's not evil or anything. Stairs. <laughs>